Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be talking about how to overclock the FX 8300 CPU to be on 4.2 GHz. The reason I'm making this video is because I've seen a lot of people struggling with overclocking the CPU on YouTube. Most of the videos only show you how to overclock it to 4.2 GHz, but they don't seem to go above it, which kind of tells me that people didn't realize or people didn't figure out how to overclock it beyond that. It also took me a bit of time to figure it out what was wrong with it. But basically, the FX8300 is supposed to be an unlocked CPU, letting you use whatever multiplier you desire. But there's a bit of a caveat. So the base frequency is 3.3 GHz and the boost frequency is 4.2, which means that you can only go up to the boost frequency multiplier. You can't go beyond that. So I've tried running it at 4.3 GHz when I first first overclocking it, and I just could not. Uh, it would boot, but once I rebooted the system, it would tell me that these frequencies are not going to work, no bueno, so go back in there and change something, which I found really weird because the system was stable, so I thought to myself, well, there must be a way. And sure enough, all you have to do is just increase the base clock. It's really simple. Oops. Um, nice. It, it edited it, whatever. So, um, yeah, I just increased the base clock, it's the good old method, just like back in the day, uh, to 212 megahertz. I have the CPU clock ratio at the maximum, 21 for the CPU, can't go beyond that, which would give me a 4.2 gigahertz at 200 megahertz, but at 212, it gives me a 4.45 gigahertz, and that's the maximum I could achieve stably. Uh, maybe I could push it a little bit more if I gave it more voltage, but I didn't feel like doing it. This is a 95 watt TDP CPU, and I don't think you can uh, push the voltage as much as with the older ones, but uh, I'm not quite sure on that. I can't really remember. I've done this years ago. But anyways, uh, yeah, I found this this uh, setting perfectly fine. So I have it on 212 base clock. CPU north bridge frequency is 200, uh, sorry, 2200. So it's, this, it's basically the default, but it gets overclocked because of the base clock increase. Uh, HDLink frequency, I've reduced it to 2200 because uh, you're not really gaining any speed, but you're gaining instability. And uh, yeah, your memory frequency will increase if you increase the base clock, obviously. So make sure that your RAM is going to be stable at the frequency you're going to dial in. If it's, you know, more, it's more of a crappy memory, then just turn it down a little bit so you'll get. Uh, 14, 11 in my case, but it's, it's set to 13, 33 and just, you know, it dials in depending on the uh, on the base clock, but it, it did work fine for me. But of course, your mileage may vary your uh, every CPU, every bit of CPU is different. So yours might only go up to like 4.4, you might go up to 4.6, whatever, but either way, uh, these are the settings that work for my system. Um, here in the advanced settings, I just have uh, boost disabled because that would not work at all. Uh, we're already using the boost frequency, essentially, the boost uh, multiplier, sorry. And yeah, all these settings, I just have them enabled. Um, here, let me see. Okay, so like, yeah, I didn't change the voltage of my memory because it was fine, but I, I think I did change the timings a little bit. Yeah, I have like, no wait, actually I have it on man on, on auto, never mind. Okay, cool. And uh, voltage, so here we go. Uh, this is a gigabyte uh, 978-UD3P, UD, yeah, UD3P, I believe. Um, kind of a weird BIOS a little bit, like there are some weird things like with the, with the load line calibration. Uh, but either way, um, these are the settings that worked out for me. So I have the CPU voltage set to 1.4125 and uh, the north bridge is set to 1.275. The RAM voltage stock 1.5 volts, didn't touch that. And the load line calibration calibration, I put it on medium. This is kind of a weird thing, but what it does is it just adjusts your your um, 
your CPU voltage depending on the load. Uh, I found medium to be the best option, but uh, yeah, with medium, this is the highest I would want to go. Cause like depending on it, it's weird because different loads will give you different voltages. It's it's kind of a strange thing, but you have different options such as uh, auto, normal, extreme, medium, low, standard. I found medium to be the best. And uh, yeah, it's a happy system. Um, make sure that you have ample cooling performance because uh, the FX CPUs do get hot. Uh, I have the CPU warning temperature set to 70 Celsius because this is the 95 watt version, which means that these ones actually have a higher T case uh, temperature. So that means uh, with the old ones, I think the highest temperature is like 60 something, 62, 60, yeah, I think like 62 Celsius. But these ones, it's uh, it's 71. So I have a bit more temperature headroom, but I've got uh, an Alpenfern Broken Zwei uh, heatsink. It's really big, so it, it, it cools down the system really, really well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I have not really changed any other settings. So I hope you found this video useful and uh, happy overclocking. See ya.